Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 32 of my hardcore survival let's play. So if you missed episode 31, please do go back and watch that right now. I won't spoil what happened in the last episode, uh, but please do go back and watch that. I don't want you to have missed such a big project. For those of you who watched yesterday's, yesterday's episode, I'll give you a little bit of a chance to go click on the other one. But for those of you who watched yesterday's episode, welcome back. I have done a little bit of renovations here. I actually removed this little building right here and transferred the chest down below the ant farm. I think it looks a lot cleaner over here now. I need to build something uh, for the end of this little rail track over here. But yeah, we built a giant automatic sugarcane farm. And it's probably the biggest I've ever built and it's double layered. Um, I haven't checked it. I've only been around it for probably like five or six minutes, just kind of tidying up the area. Um, I guess like plus another 10 or 15 for destroying the actual structure that was right there. But let's check and see how much sugar cane we have in it so far. So, oh, wow, we go, we grew one whole stone looking pretty good there. Wow. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's going to work very well. Um, I can sit here AFK overnight. I can sit here AFK for as long as I want. And basically, we're going to be able to get way more sugar cane than I think we really ever need to get. Also, I covered up this chest. I'm not really sure why. Um, there we go. So now we can get to all of the chests. But yeah, uh, we'll just let that thing run. We don't really need to bother with it at all. Um, it'll just kind of run on its own and uh, do its own thing. And uh, in this episode, I wanted to start establishing our librarian area. So we're finally going to add something to the ant farm after all this time. We've had it and we've been letting the villagers breed. Um, I also changed the entrance to this thing a little bit. But let's head down in here um, in just a second and we'll find out how many villagers have just been breeding down here. It should be an immense amount. Uh, kitties are now spawning in my world just kind of randomly just because, you know, we're near a village technically now. Uh, but let's travel over here to our beautiful treehouse. So... <laughs> What? <laughs> it's not a treehouse. Let's travel over here to a beautiful windmill, and we are going to gather a few things that I need to make a bunch of bookshelves. When I say a bunch, I mean a lot. Um, I think we have a ton of sugarcane already, uh, just that we've been gathering over the course of however long we've been on this big, beautiful world. Uh, do we have any leather? I'm pretty sure we have leather, but I'm pretty sure it's in another chest. I'm like 99% sure, right? Uh, well, here's our sugarcane chest, but I'm not so sure where our leather is, but we'll keep looking. I'm sure it's somewhere around here. I really don't know where it would be, though. Of all places, I thought it would. Maybe it's in here? Yeah, it's in here. Okay, cool. So we're going to make a bunch of paper, and then we're going to make a bunch of books. Oh, yeah. That's so satisfying. A bunch of paper. Oh, yeah. And then a bunch of books. So let's see. That's all of our leather, so we can't really make any more right now. And perfectly, we have three sugar cane. Awesome. So I'm taking a gander through all of these advancements. And for some reason, we just got one that popped up with like a map, and I could not find it. Because I'm like, I've crafted books before, and I've crafted paper before. Uh, we have an enchantment tree just right over yonder, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, we'll just chalk it up to Minecraft just being a little bit buggy. The achievements have always been a little bit off, I, I'll say. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to sleep, and then I'll come back, and we're going to farm some trees off camera, and then I'm going to make a bunch of bookshelves, and then we're going to get started, and we're going to check on the library. Or not check on the Check on the villagers, and then build the library. There we go. Nailed it. So anytime we're over here, our sugarcane farm is basically just going to run. Um, you can kind of see it. Maybe if I watch it, one of them will be nice and grow, and then you'll be able to see it work. Come on. Can one of you please? Please? I'm not gonna wait much longer. Okay, so nothing happened. Oh <laughs> you saw it, it just happened right there. The second I zoom out, it happens. Uh but yeah, I'm gonna grow a bunch of trees here. We got a ton of bone meal just from sitting in the I, I honestly don't know why it's in here, but we just got a ton of saplings and bone meal in here, I guess just for the purpose of getting wood. So let me gather a little bit of wood here and I will be back in a second. And then one final tree to bone meal. Now, oh man, we got a big chunk tree in there inside of our larger chunk tree. Uh, so now I'm just going to mine all of this wood. So give me one second and then we can make a bunch of, what are those things called? You know what I'm talking about? The things that, that, that the job block for a librarian. Why can't I think of the name of it? I'll think of it in a second or when I craft it. 
By the way guys, as I'm mining this tree here, I wanted to inform you guys that I do have an official Discord server and uh, the link to that is in the top pinned comment down below in the comment section. It is the first comment and it is from me. You click on that link and you'll be invited to my Discord server. So if you see me do anything wrong or you want to have you, you want to have your input, you know, in my videos and you, you want to give me some just suggestions or something like that, I do have a suggestions channel on the Discord or you can just chat with me or chat with anyone else in the server and uh, be a part of the community and I would love to see you guys around. Also, if you notice you're watching and you're not subscribed, only like probably 30% of the people who watch my channel are subscribed. So if you want to increase the size of my family, Family, and you guys also want to watch me more often then please do hit that subscribe button and I would very much so appreciate that uh, that's all I'll say about it but thank you guys so so much for watching I really do appreciate all the viewership we've been getting on the series why I've been getting so many views I could not tell you but I really do appreciate it and I'm very very grateful um, so what I was gonna craft if I guess it's not in here now uh, which is kind of funny it's like when you need it to be oh I see I see oh what there we go. Okay. So 33 bookshelves. That's good. What is that thing? Yes, the lectern. I don't know why I couldn't think of what it's called. Uh, you know what? Wait, it takes a whole bookshelf? Okay, well, we're going to make 31 lecterns. Do we need that many? No, but we're going to make that many just because future-proofing, right? Uh, so we're going to make... Hold on. I know why we can't do anything. We have all this stuff in my inventory. We don't need it. We don't need all that junk in my inventory. So we're going to make a bunch of planks, then we can make a bunch of bookshelves. Uh, what do we run out of? Oh, books. Okay. So we don't necessarily need the bookshelves, but I feel like if we're going to build a library, it's going to have to have a bunch of bookshelves in it where it's going to look weird, right? Look! I don't know if you heard that, but look! A random cat has appeared. This is a pretty looking kitty, too. Almost, uh, actually, that looks exactly like Freya. Hey, hey, Lauren, come here. I found Freya. It actually is exactly like Freya. I'm gonna name the cat Freya. Look, it even has the white the white paws and it's brown. It actually is Freya. That's our kitty in real life in the Minecraft. No, 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 don't don't be scared. I'll feed it many fish and it will become our cat. But not for now. We're gonna go work on the village, or we'll get mm, now. We mm, okay? We'll go get the cat. Yeah, we'll <laughs> get the fish and then the cat. All right, we're gonna grab a name tag. All right, so we're going to name the name tag, and then we're going to go over to the the Salmon River of Dreams, and we're going to gather a few salmon, and then we should have Freya inside of the game. So let's just name the name tag to Freya. Uh, it's kind of cool getting your own cat, but in real life. So now we just got to go find some fish. Uh, I think they like salmon, but, I mean, if the salmon's the only thing swimming around in this river, so they better like salmon. Uh, if they don't, that's okay, uh, but I really hope they do. There's another cat. There's so many kitties. They're just running around. That's why I like having villages. You just your or your own personal village. You get a lot of cats. Uh, okay, there's some salmon right here. I have looting too, so this should be pretty simple. It should just be one hit kill. Okay. That's only two salmon. Oh. Okay, three salmon. That might not be enough. Come on, salmon, where are you? There we go. Okay. Now, I think this should be enough. Where did they go? I'm so confused. Okay, six salmon. Is that enough? We'll find out soon. We just got to make sure that Freya did not run away because I don't know. They kind of they kind of move quick, so I don't know where she went. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, I'll look around for a bit, but this may be kind of difficult. Freya. Hello? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where she went. I'll, I'll look around a bit, though, guys. All right, guys. Well, I've been looking. I have not found the kitty, so we'll, we'll, we'll just put that on hold for now. And then hopefully, eventually, she'll show back up. I mean, she could be hiding in here. You just never know with a cat. You know, they're, they're very good at hiding. So we'll just put that on the back burner. If we find her again, we'll get her. If not, that's okay. Uh, but I don't really know where she could have gone. I mean, there's some somewhere around here she, she's hiding, but I don't know where. Uh, so give me a little bit. I am going to head down and uh, not give me a little bit. Where is she just going to head? Actually, I'm going to look over here real quick. Hold on. Well, I came up here to sleep and I still don't see her. So I don't know. We're just going to, again, give up on that for now. I'm sure eventually she'll just run around in front of us and go meow. And we'll just get a kitty. Uh, but we're going to start working on the library. Uh, so let me put up a few things before we go down in there. And I think that's my actual other cat that's meowing. So give me a second. 
All right, I actually didn't put up anything because I realized most of the stuff we're probably going to want to put in our actual chests down in here. Um, so we're going to go in here and I don't really know exactly how I'm going to go about this. So it should be kind of interesting. But as you can see, we're getting we're amassing quite the number of villagers, which is good. Some of these guys are going to have to become librarians. Um, but yeah, it seems to just be going really, really well in here. Uh, it looks like we have a ton of villagers. So awesome. Awesome. Uh, we're going to go down in here, and this is where we're going to put some stuff up and uh, get a few things. I don't really know what we're going to need for this. I honestly have never built anything inside of an ant farm. So this should be somewhat interesting. I think it's going to be kind of fun to watch. So we're going to need the lecterns, bookshelves, probably some wood. And then I don't know if we're going to use stairs. We have 64 chests in there. Don't ask me. I, I really don't know. Sometimes I just get a ton of stuff and I just, I, I don't know. Uh, we'll probably need some doors and then we'll just take a little bit of glass for some reason in case we lose some uh, this thing has silk touch which is super nice but again it's about to run out so we're not going to be able to have that luxury for too much longer here unfortunately and there's even more ladders and wood in here okay we'll take that interesting so the way that I had originally for villagers to get up and down was a staircase right here. And I think, honestly, I'm going to follow that same path. Uh, this guy, I don't really want him. So we're just going to... Okay. I forget how powerful they are. I forgot how powerful they are. We're just going to take care of this guy. Okay. That was almost very bad. It looks like looks like part of it got untilled. So we're just going to make a wooden hoe, real, real temporary wooden hoe here and just kind of fix that up because I feel bad. Uh, the Enderman did the other one. I only did only did one of those messed up blocks. So you can blame the Enderman for, for half of it, right? One, two. And then we'll throw this down. Maybe one of them will pick it up. And instead of using their hands, they'll be like, wow, there's a tool for this? No way, dude. Uh, so we're just going to put stairs like right here. And then it's literally just going to go like straight up. That's pretty much the entirety of the design that I had built. Um, and then they'll just kind of go up here and they'll end up inside the ant farm. So this is the, <laughs> in my opinion, this is like the fun part. We actually finally get to start building some tunnels and stuff. It's definitely going to be interesting and I'm not really sure how it's going to work. But yes, you want to come up here with me? Come on. We're going to have some fun in here. Yes, we're going to have so much fun in here. They're like, look, a new path. Let's just, let's just walk here and, oh, I think they want to go up. I don't know what it is about villagers, but I think they like going up because they think that it's the surface, maybe, because they're technically below ground there, so they like going upwards. I really don't know. If, if it's not going to work like this, we'll have to figure out a way. Maybe we won't have the villager breeder connected always. We'll just have like a separate village above, because I honestly don't know what's going on now, because it, like, it looks like they're all just kind of cramming right there, which is not great, but mm, these guys don't seem to go up there, so I don't know. It may work. It may work. All right, so I think a better approach here is going to be working from the outside in. So we're going to start from the outside of this thing, uh, funnily enough, and then work to let these guys in in a better way. Because right now, right now they're just kind of, uh, how you say, not, they're not doing the right thing. I don't know what the heck they're doing. They're just kind of, they're just kind of chilling there. You know, just had to get a little bit of a thumbnail there. Uh, we'll build our own little staircase here again. We don't want to build it too close because I don't want them accidentally getting out. Um, I, I won't be over in that area, so it doesn't really matter. But we're going to drill in right here, and we're just going to get started. So I'm going to make sure there's like a you know a, a one-block gap at least at the bottom. Uh, we also have no storage room, so we're going to temporarily build a little crafting table thing here. And I'll pick up that food so we don't forget it. And I know we have a bunch of barrels already crafted, but they're not near me, so I'd rather just make them on my own. And then we'll just put a few little construction barrels here, just to put a few materials up, like things we're not going to need. Uh, we probably won't need a shovel. That's definitely a, an assure we're not going to need that. Uh, we don't need that if we have the axe with us. We also don't need that. I've been keeping my eye out for Freya, too. I don't, I don't see her anymore. Uh, but if you guys want to know what my cat looks like in real life, you can go on my Instagram and uh, you can see it there. It's just at the Neocubist. So if that interests you, you can always go there and check it. Uh, but yeah, give me a little bit. I'm basically going to make a library type room in here. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be going for. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stay within the bounds of this thing or not because that means a room can only be three blocks wide. So again, like I have no idea how this is going to work. So it's going to be kind of fun to experiment with, I think at least. So I'm just going to stay here. We're going to dig this up to be three blocks high. Okay, and now I'm going to break this staircase here. And we're going to fill in the normal glass. And then this glass. And then we're going to open it and we're going to see what happens. Because I honestly don't know what's going to happen here. I also want to put a door. I guess we'll put it right there. All right, unleash the beast. Oh, one more. Unleash the, unleash the, the beast. <laughs> Yes, come on in. Now they don't have jobs, too. I think some of these guys were farmers, and now they just have no job. Maybe they're searching out a job. They're like, <laughs> he's like, uh-uh, this ain't cool, bro. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. Did you guys see? I mean, obviously, you saw that. He was like, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm I come up here, I think I'm leaving, and now we're just in another... <laughs> <laughs> they're all just like what is this dude i'm mad dude i think that's actually what they're doing like they're not happy they're just staring at me oh my god i'm uncomfortable Ugh. Ugh. you guys are on <laughs> oh my gosh that's kind of funny i'm trying to get a thumbnail so you'd be like these guys are mad at me okay well honestly i'm really uncomfortable i think they're looking to me uh, <laughs> to try to solve their problem here. Yeah, they're just like shaking their heads. They're like, nah, dude. It's like the funniest thing ever. They really, <laughs> they're really just staring me down. Okay, so they can obviously now leave here and go up to this door. Uh, what that really means for them, I'm not sure. But now they can get in between the breeder and this one little room. Obviously, we'll have many rooms that are kind of labeled as library rooms. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to have this little area here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger too. And then we're just going to put some lecterns down and stuff like that. I'm not going to, like, put the villagers in a specific block. I know you can do that. Maybe we will. I mean, I know they're not happy because they're sitting here shaking their heads. So I've obviously wronged them somehow. Uh, but, for example, if I put them... Oh, they're dancing. Oh, no, they're not. I think they're trying to jump on a block that isn't there. Uh, so if I, like, encase one down here... Hmm... I don't know, because I kind of want the villagers, the villager traits to be locked in, right? Um, or we just, you know, do the shotgun effect where we have so many lecterns that we just get a few trades that we want, um, and then we call it good. I don't really know. I'm going to clear out this room a little bit and think, and then I'll probably divide this room into more than one room, and uh, we'll figure it out from there. Okay, so this is pretty much as big as I think I'm going to make it. And again, to make it feel more like a library, we're going to put some bookshelves in, and maybe do a little bit of... A little bit of framing with some slabs. This guy's standing right in the corner I need to be in. I have water. And they don't. So problem solved. Okay. <laughs> the second I remove it, he's like, no, 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 no. This is my corner, dude. Get out of my corner. I'm going right back to my corner. Uh, we'll put a crafting table in here as well. I can't see why that would hurt anything. Man, they just really like new blocks. I guess they've been in prison their entire life. If, if you think about it, they've been in here their entire life. Ooh, that's kind of sad. I feel bad almost. Mm, I do kind of feel bad, but you know what? What am I going to do about it, okay? It's just Minecraft. You don't even have a job. I know. He's unhappy. He's like, mm -mm, I don't have a job. Uh, now, as far as, as far as lighting goes in here, I think I'm just going to use glowstone. I'm trying to think how I could do this. Ooh, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Okay, so we'll just use these corners as areas to put light. Uh, we are secure in here, so I don't really need to leave even though it's dark, uh, except you guys can't see as well. So we'll go down here and sleep. We're going to see what happens to them, uh, right? Because if they don't come downstairs to sleep, I'll be very surprised because it is about to be night, and that's like what they're programmed to do, right? So we're going to see if they come down. I really hope so. Yeah, so every other villager is going, uh, but these guys are staying. Uh, so I'm honestly kind of convinced that they think that they need to be above ground, right? Like their houses have to be above like the sea level. Because, yeah, they're not going down here. And obviously they sleep at night, right? Like they don't do anything. All the farmers are gone. Wait, do they not need to sleep because they're not outside? Okay, now I'm confused. I think... Uh... I don't really know. This is kind of weird. 
See, these farmers, I guess maybe they're not close enough to their beds. Is that the thing? Is it because they're not close enough to their beds? Because, yeah, they're not going to bed, right? Like, they have to go to bed at night. That's, like, their whole thing. I guess they can't pathfind to their beds. So do we need to put some beds in here? Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know. I guess we have to put some beds in here, guys. Because, yeah, they're not... Huh. Okay. Because, yeah, I mean, they definitely have to go to bed. There's definitely enough beds, but I think that they are programmed to go up to get them out of caves. What are you doing? Oh, is he running from a zombie? Because he came from up here. You know what? We're just not going to question it, I guess. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so these villagers are trying... And these zombies are trying to attack the villagers from inside the glass? Okay. Or maybe they're just walking randomly. I really don't know. But one of them left, so I'm just going to chalk it up to a random chance that they haven't left. But it's also really weird to me. So if someone will put in the comments why they're not leaving here, or at least try to solve this mystery with me, I honestly think it's because maybe they're not outside or they are programmed to go up instead of down to find their bed. Because usually they, if, you know, if they're in a cave or something, I don't know. Because, yeah, a good bit of them are in the bed, but I guess the rest of them aren't. Okay, weird. Uh, we'll just keep building this, and if we have to add beds and other places in the build, I'm not really too afraid of doing that. So, yeah, I'm just going to sleep, and we'll go back up there and work on the library more. We'll have to see if any of these guys, instead of going to their farming job, will actually come up here and try to go in here. I guess we'll just kind of hear the door open, so we'll kind of instantly know. Man, are there a lot of mobs around this thing? Oh, okay, so there's a lot of things in there. Guys, I think they're trying to attack the villagers, right? They're trying to attack the villagers. Can you look at Enderman through glass? No? But yeah, I think they're trying to attack the villagers through the glass, which is interesting. I didn't know they'd do that. Cool. Okay, so what I plan on doing now is just putting a bunch of lecterns down. I'm going to experiment with a few designs to see what looks best. Uh, but I may just want to put it on the ground, honestly. I don't really think it matters. But like I said, I think we're going to go for the shotgun effect here. And just have like a ton of lecterns. I don't think it's a bad idea because honestly, I think that if we have a ton of lecterns, they're just going to kind of, you know, be a ton of librarians, but none of them are getting this job. So, oh, huh. as I say that bookshelf, 24 paper for emerald. That's actually perfect. I do want to lock that in. Hmm. We'll, we'll think about it later. We're going to have a lot of trades to look through, but that's like the exciting part for me. Just having a ton of trades. We may actually design this a little bit different because it looks kind of ridiculous now. It's literally just a column of lecterns and you kind of walk up on them. So, yeah, we, we may end up changing this a little bit, but it's kind of funny to experiment and just see what kind of books you'll get. Uh, let me try out a few designs here and I'll come back and show you what I uh, end up using. Uh, but until then, uh, enjoy the time lapse, I guess. All right, so as you guys can see, I did kind of finalize the design here. I also sectioned myself off from them. Uh, this is just so that I can make a staircase. And obviously, I mean, we're going to have a ton of rooms in this build. So it's not just going to be like there's one. I have to go out another block. So like there's going to be just like one room on one level. Um, it's just going to be kind of random where they are. And we're going to try to fit as much stuff into this thing as we can. Uh, but honestly, I've been super excited to actually start this. Because uh, I think it's going to end up looking really, really cool. Uh, we just may have to try, you know, a bunch of different methods to see what looks good and what looks does what doesn't look good. Uh, but honestly, I think a variety of methods here is going to look really, really good. Uh, so we're going to put a door here, and then we're going to do the same over here, and that's going to affect the pathfinding in a way. I think I want to put it like right there, but then they're going to walk. So you know what we're going to do. Yeah, there we go. They're not happy about that. Now there's a door here. Now they can come up here if they want to. I really don't care. Uh, all we're doing up in here is making another little library area. We don't need like a ton, but I do want a good bit of librarians. So I'm going to have two areas for it. So let me dig out another little uh, decently sized room here.
Okay, so now we have another area for us to work with. And I think I'm going to design this room a little bit differently. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot different aside from maybe a few more style touches here. Uh, I don't really know how I would go about that. Maybe put something in the middle of those, but I don't really know what it would be. Mm, we could put some bookshelves, but then maybe too many. Again, I don't want to waste like all my bookshelves just doing random little stuff. So I'll try my best to preserve them, but... Uh, when I'm decorating like this, I usually end up putting a whole lot of stuff down, but this one will look really good from one angle And I think this will fulfill how many lecterns we need like right like do we really need that many more lecterns? Uh, you know, I'm gonna say no because that's a lot like how many is that one two three four five and then like 11 lecterns in total so quite a bit. I'm gonna grab some trapdoors. Give me a second. Let's see. Oh my gosh. It's so crowded and they are going up and down now. So, you know, maybe they just need a little bit of time to adjust, you know, if they have like a new village, because this is basically changing the size of their entire village. So I could see why they'd be a little bit buggy if you're doing it in real time and they don't, you know, pathfind immediately to the new location, but we'll give them time and uh, we'll just have to find out what happens. But let's grab these trap doors and let's put them in this little library. Yes, one of you can come up here and, and start your own library. It's a very, very beautiful place. Okay, I think that looks good to me. And then, oh, yeah. Hmm, I guess we could do the door and then a staircase. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. There we go. Awesome. Yay. I'm really happy with how this thing's turning out. I was kind of nervous, to be honest with you guys, because never built an ant farm before in Minecraft that I can remember. And uh, I was a little bit worried that it was going to turn out and look kind of weird. Uh, but I think we're actually going to do something pretty cool here. Uh, let's just keep these tunnels going. We're going to go down a block because why not? And then we're going to do another kind of village. Maybe I'm going to do, not a village, another kind of library. We're going to do it a little bit taller than the other one. That guy should be really cool. I'll figure out how to make it work in a second. But for right now, we're just going to try this. Okay. And then maybe we can do some... The spiral staircase? I don't know. This is like compact building, which is like one of my favorite styles. So we're going to see if we can make it work. Okay. So it can only be the two blocks wide. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this. Hold on. Let me try some stuff. Yeah, so there's no way to make this work. At least in the, in the way we have it right now, uh, it's not really possible. So I'm going to try to build this staircase as close as I can. Uh, to the one over here and that's going to give us the maximum amount of room so you can see there's still that one block buffer right there and then we can just bring this path up a little bit obviously filling in a little bit of this because we don't need all this now uh, maybe like that and then yeah just have it connect up here and that's actually perfect uh, so the paths do kind of intertwine maybe I'd prefer it if they were a little bit like to the side of one another we'll see how it looks from the outside uh, but honestly I think it's going to look just fine Right? Like, I don't only really know why it wouldn't look good. Um, and then we can have this also be another little library area. Uh, I don't know if we can have a door on this one, though, because the staircase ends right here. And if I broke that, then you'd get into the actual staircase. But I don't know. I think it'll still look pretty cool. Uh, give me a little bit, though. Okay. So what I decided was to put a door right here. That way, this still acts as a room. Um, again, it's not the biggest room in the world, but we're just going to have these three libraries here. And uh, we may actually end up making this a little bit taller. Who knows? Uh, but I kind of want to make this one look really interesting. Uh, you know, if it's too, too tall, it won't really have a function. Uh, but at least it'll look really good. And that's honestly what I'm going for here, guys. We have so many lecterns already. Uh, I think the library portion is definitely finished. Um, I can say now I've built in Minecraft a library and an ant farm. Who else can say they've done that? Probably a couple people. Okay, so I'm just trying out a few designs here to see what looks good. Um, obviously, the, this thing isn't going to be completely functional, uh, but we can at least attempt it in, in, in making it look cool. So we can put like a maybe a little ladder over here and break the bottom one so that villagers can't get to it. Um, and they have like a little area up here. I honestly don't know. Um, it could look cool, uh, but walking in here, it may look a little bit weird. So you could always put a block right here, I guess, and it really doesn't. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. If, if it's a little bit cramped, that's fine, right? Yeah, 
I think that's cool. It's worth it to have this in here. And then we could also put a stair there maybe. I don't know, but then like where does the light go? And like that's another thing. We have a little bit of fence here so we could try to do some sort of light like this. Uh, but that may, may, again, make it look cramped. I don't know. Uh, I think that's kind of cool, actually. And then we should probably put a few lecterns in here so it's actually like a a job for them. I don't know if we can put them up here, but we can try. Just put a few more up there, I guess. Uh, then we could probably make that connect. Okay. Where else can we put them? If we don't have this here, which we don't have stairs anywhere else. So to be fair, I don't really think we need them. And we could have some lecterns there. And then I think that should be good, right? That's a pretty built out library, I'd say. So let's go see how this thing looks from the outside. Um, we're going to go sleep real quick. Sorry, I was looking around. I was like, I don't see any mobs really. Uh, but I don't know. I'm kind of happy with this thing so far. It should definitely look interesting from the outside, but I've never seen anything like this. So I'm, I'm really, really curious to see how it turned out. But I'm happy to have made my first library inside of an ant farm. It's a weird thing to say, right? So I keep like pausing to think, am I saying this right? Library inside of an ant farm. And that is correct. Uh, maybe that'll be the title of my first book. If I ever write a book, it's going to be called Library in an Ant Farm by the Neo Cubist featuring Minecraft. Oh, God. All right, guys. The ultimate question. Does it look okay? Um, and also, I'm scared. I don't have my bow or anything. So we're just going to have to we're gonna have to wing it. The spiders don't the spiders don't hate me. So I'm going to give it a second because from the side, it looks like there's, you know, some rooms suspended in jelly F. <laughs> okay, we'll change that because that literally just looks like it says F. Um, F's in the chat, I guess. I don't know. Okay, well, we're going to we're going to we're going to work on that a little bit. Also, this stuff is going to have to go. So let me organize my inventory just a little bit here. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to change that. I think it looks a little bit weird. Uh, the tunnel honestly looks fine. Um, it's a little bit close, but I mean, what are you going to do? This is not something anyone's ever done before. And I feel like once there's a lot more rooms and tunnels, it's going to look a lot better. Uh, I've been working on this for like an hour or so. So we're going to find out how much sugar cane we get in an hour. I don't remember how much it is, how much we have when we started. I don't know if it was a stack and a half or something like that, but let's see. That was a really smooth ladder transition there. Okay. So a decent amount. Um, and to be fair, some of it had to ramp up because it was freshly planted, but I'm happy with that. Uh, honestly, if I left it on overnight, I'd probably have maybe a double chest and a half full of sugar cane. And that is more than enough for my purposes. Uh, I can probably get a ton of emeralds with that, which is really cool. Uh, but let's go fix this F and then let's see how it looks from the outside. And then we'll call it an episode. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to leave this one right here since it has those fancy uh, little trap doors on it and it has some lecterns and we're going to remove this top one here. Uh, now how I'm going to get away with that is I think just leaving this area blank. I think that'll look perfectly fine. I guess it would look a little bit better if we put a trap door here and maybe that looks better from the top. Let me see. Yeah, that does. Okay. So now it looks almost like there's like, I guess, two rooms here, but it's actually just one. Uh, I wish there was a way to actually make it that way, but I don't think the villagers obviously can climb up a ladder, uh, but they can use these three, uh, which is all I really care about, but maybe not. I don't know. Let me, let me rework this room. And, and if I like the way it looks good, why am I using my pickaxe? Um, but if I think it looks bad, uh, then we'll change it some more, but give me a second here. There we go. I think that that looks much, much better. So if you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, you've never seen me before and you're not subscribed, I really would encourage you to subscribe. I'd love to see you on my future videos. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching and thank you so much for all the support on this hardcore series. I've been really enjoying it and I'm very happy to see that you guys are too. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at the Neo Cubist, Like I said, if you want to see some pictures of my kitties and behind the scenes stuff, you can also join my Discord server in that top pinned comment from me down below. I'd love to see you around there. You can give me suggestions. Uh, you can do a variety of things. Uh, but last but certainly not least, let's see what this thing looks like from the outside. Obviously, it's not done. We're going to build out the entire ant farm. I really got to clear my throat and drink water. I've been recording way too long. Hold on. There we go. Much better. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. That actually looks really cool. So it looks like a library in a bunch of different rooms. Uh, and honestly, one thing I was thinking about is we can definitely make this staircase look a lot better. 
Um, I threw a little bit of glass out earlier. I don't know if it's still here or not. Yes, it is. Um, and that was to get some inventory space, which is still there. Hold on. Let me let me see if there's some things I'm okay with dropping. Uh, like, for example, uh, I'm okay with dropping 20 slabs and a carrot. I don't really need those. Uh, the seven books, that's okay. We, we're we going to have unlimited books here pretty soon. So, where's the glass? Did it just disappear? Dude, the glass just disappeared, right? I'm not going crazy. I, I saw the glass in the water. Ah, well, that is uh, how you say unfortunate timing. Whoops. Oh, hold on. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to fix it, and I'll come back up. All right, so we should have some blue, light blue stained glass somewhere in here. Uh, should have a good bit of it. I don't know where it all is exactly, but we have a little bit of glass to just make into it. We also have a dye farm, so we pretty much have infinite light blue dye. Um, but yeah, if you guys have not seen like episode one or anything of this series, I promise you there's only 30 episodes and uh, I think you could definitely catch back up. So I'd love to see you on episode one and go through the whole series. I think it's probably my best series yet and all of the series that I've had on this channel. Uh, this one is by far the best. Of course, I try to get better with every single series I do and this is my latest series. Uh, but you know, I, you know, I can only improve so much, you know, cause I'm just, and actually I don't know why I ran all the way out. I shouldn't have. Oh, oh, that's not. You're not supposed to. Okay. Um, that's not supposed to. Okay. You know what? We're going to do this. I don't know if this is big enough. I guess we're going to find out. This may be a really bad idea, actually. Oh, I don't even have. Oh, I do have my sword. I have my bow, too. This bow is very powerful, so I'm confident I can do this. Okay, perfect. So maybe we'll do an iron golem farm. Like around this thing, we'll build like a giant moat or something where they would just fall into it and uh, basically get infinite iron. I will do an iron farm at some point, uh, but not in here. Unless I could build... Wait, could I build an iron farm inside of this thing? What are those guys doing? Uh, but yeah, I was just going to fill in these blocks right here. So let me use like a wood instead of books. And we're going to see if I can't just fill in a little bit. Uh, I really don't want to do this from the outside. Hold on. I'm going to go back in and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. I just decided against doing it from the outside because I could definitely make a leak happen and then they all escape and then my whole thing is done for. Okay, so the fix is literally right here. So it's super close. And all I wanted to do was add one layer of bl blue, blue. Why is there so many of you in this hallway? One layer of light blue glass, and then that actually makes the divide much bigger, and I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, so let me go back into the outside of it, and we'll uh, do a little bit of an outro, but I got to sleep first, so give me a second. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit different. This is like my fifth hour of recording, and it's also kind of late at night, and uh, that tends to make me kind of, I don't know, eventually you get to a point where everything's just kind of like funny, and uh, yeah, it's really late, and I'd like to sleep soon. So I want to go outside. We're going to look at it. Uh, but, but I stay up late. I try to make good content for you guys. I really do. Uh, but finals are over now. Everything's good. Uh, I passed all my classes. Yay, me, I guess. There we go. Okay, a lot better. Now that there's that, that little divide right there. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in next week's episodes. They'll probably start on Friday. Uh, so I, I try to upload every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. So you can adjust that time to your time zone. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Guys, I just got to say before I go, I think this thing looks really good. I'm actually like super, super hyped that this turned out so well. I was kind of worried it was going to look bad, uh, but I think once we build this entire thing out, it's going to be beautiful. Um, you know, we only have three blocks to work with, but I'm really proud of what, uh, what I've built here. So let me know in the comments and on the discord server, if you guys like it too. Bye.